Well, I am really pleased with how that came out. So that should work a treat, and it's just a matter of routing it back into the mower. But yeah, I uh, heated the end of that uh, plastic tube up, and it fit right over that barb. Don't even need a clamp. That thing ain't coming off. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing put in. Well, just in a few hours, it has turned blustery. It's not cold yet, but that wind definitely has a chill to it. So I'm uh, getting ready to close up shop here, but I uh, thought I'd go ahead and <clears throat> point out I've got the battery installed, the battery hold down, and I've actually got it to where positive is positive, negative is negative, nice and tight. The uh, drain tube actually curves back towards the transaxle, so it would actually even clear the back of the deck. Um, installed the positive lead first, and then the negative lead, and I've got some of this stuff that uh, hopefully may keep the corrosion down on those. And we are buttoned up. All right, I opened the door back up, and I guess I'm going to do a real quick test drive with this thing just to see if I got everything right. Um, hasn't been started since uh, I started working on it. Um, wires shouldn't matter. This goes to the LED light modification. This goes to the regular headlights. Everything else is hooked up. I'm not going to have an air filter on it, but just for a quick run around the yard it should should be fine so let's see what happens The uh, clutch feels much better and the brakes feel good until the transmission starts leaking grease out around the uh, <laughs> the brake pads again but uh, everything's working and it's, it's got a my biggest thing was the clutch was sticking and it feels really good now so it just must have been gummed up or the brake I think the brake adjustment is what really helped it I think I had them too tight or something, and it was causing it to catch right at the top. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close up. We're starting to drop a little bit of temp in here now. But, uh, yeah, I'll wrap, wrap this up. All i got to do is get the air filter and then put the hood and hook the lights back up. And it's it, oh, and put the deck back on it. I can probably do that now, but, yeah. It sticks out a little bit, so I may just save that till I'm ready to roll this back in the other shop. Thanks for watching. I just can't leave it alone. So, uh, yeah, like I said, the uh, the hood, basically, I lower the, the grill, and the hood comes in onto these pivots right here, and then you just pivot it back, and it's got a 
screw on each side. That's all it holds the whole hood on. And then over here, got the connector for the 1157 lights and then my connector for my LED modification lights. So hood closes and we can check the LED lights. Yep, so we're all good there. The last thing to do is to put the deck on and I don't know if I wanna tackle that today or tomorrow. I gotta run to town tomorrow, so yeah, I have to get the lift out to get it off the table and then um, get it put on. Thanks for watching. Well, rats, I cannot find the deck belt. I cannot remember where I put it. I do not see it. I went out into the other shed and looked. I know I've got a spare, but I hate using a spare until I can find what I did with the original deck belt. Okay, I think that's enough for tonight. Yeah. What did I do with the deck belt? Uh, darn. I hate it when that happens. Well, after a bunch of searching, I went back and I said, no, I couldn't have done that. Yeah, I did. I hung it in the new building. Um, I don't know why. Um, I walked out there with the flashlight and right there it was hanging on the wall. So yeah, I'm at a stopping point tonight. Supposed to get chilly tomorrow. Um, uh, freezing tonight, chilly tomorrow. I got to go to town. Uh, I guess when I get back, I'll go ahead and finish putting this deck on. I do have it slid under there, but I'll have to back it up over there so I can get to both sides of it. All right, thanks for watching.